so we both pay bills but he pays for all of them um because my check direct deposits into his account so he can like have all the money in one place and we can save and stuff and he like has investments that he invests our money into um he gives me an allowance of a hundred dollars a week like if i need more i can ask for more but you know normally it's just like a hundred dollars a week for like food and like random stuff i want to buy um yeah that's pretty much it we both pay for stuff but you know he handles all the money as the man should oh boy <laughs> there's a lot happening in this clip uh for those who couldn't see somebody dm this to me asked me my thoughts uh, but she's telling how they pay bills basically she goes to work they both go to work uh they both pay bills but she doesn't really see the money it goes through him then to her at a hundred dollars a week uh and if she wants more money then she can go and ask him for permission to get more of the money that she's already earned so if that don't make sense to you i promise you you are not alone like my first thoughts was a lot of questions like how this work what do they call that nonetheless they both grown i'm not here to tell them how to live their life um, but my first thought was like this don't sound much like a partnership even whenever you talk about leadership even in a traditional aspect a biblical aspect it's still as a part of a partnership like the head needs the neck like both need each other but just looking at his body language i don't know if it's just me that caught it i was like his body language his facial expressions is saying that he understands this is a finesse he's hitting the lick because from what i understand they're not even married so every time that she go to work every time that her check deposit into his account Every time that she, he gives her her pension of $100 or, you know, a, a few more morsels or whatever, whenever she needs some more, he hitting a lick. <laughs> His body language says it. Uh, but on the part where she talked about, you know, him being, uh, you know, the leader or the one who's in charge of the finances, which is alluding to him being a leader. I do want to call a spade a spade on that. Again, I ain't here to tell them how to live their life. But no, even in a traditional biblical concept where this originated, a man is not the leader in a relationship. A husband is the leader in a marriage. A husband is a leader of the household. Big difference. And especially in a situation like this, when you don't have marriage and laws and stuff like that that can protect you if things go left. Because if they were married, I could at least say, okay, it's kind of like a joint account where there's a budget agreed to, but he's the one who took the lead on that. But they ain't even that. They ain't even that. And then my other thought was, if he's such a great leader, no disrespect, but why is it that he's not doing as much provision as he is allocation of where the money goes? Like if he's a great financial steward, he makes the investments and stuff like that. Why does he need the woman's help at all in order to put money in the bank account? This would make perfect sense also if it was just strictly him that was earning all the money. But apparently the investments ain't panned out yet or whatever, man. Um, again, these are grown up, so can't nobody just blame him. I'm not just blaming, I'm really not even trying to shame him or nothing like that. I'm just having fun with the subject. Um, but she is consenting to, to this. This is a consensual agreement, so more power to him. I did look in the comments and I saw a lot of dudes leaving stuff talking about city boys up, city boy relationship goals, which is not a good sign because for those who don't know, city boys is a new term for F boys. Remember we used to say F boys a lot a couple of years ago? Well, now they created a whole movement called city boys where these dudes are proud of being F boys. And this is 100% city boy material. This is tantalizing and attractive to a city boy as opposed to an evolved man who, yes, he is a leader. Yes, he wants to be a leader. Even before marriage, he doesn't have a problem, you know, taking the lead on these types of things, but it's also coupled with accountability. It's coupled with transparency. It's coupled with not necessarily needing to dominate and control the finances because he understands there's a difference between leadership and dominance, but he can break bread with you, teaching you things, how to invest, what to invest in, in order to grow the bag. He doesn't need to have 100% dominance in order to feel like he's a leader, even in a provisional context, um, whether or not he's bringing in all the money, but he doesn't need that necessarily. That's a matter of ego and insecurity. Now, we talked about that because that's its own subject by itself. We talked about that in my free master class, The Secrets to Making an Evolved Man Crave You. If you ain't got access to that yet, it's free right now down at the link in the caption. Get access now before that ends. But moral of the story is this. Again, I wish this couple all the best. I had fun with this subject, uh, but in all seriousness, I don't know that he's a city boy. I'm not saying he's a city boy. There's clearly a lot of trust. I ain't know that much trust in the world, but there's a lot of trust between them. So apparently, Apparently they're doing something right. But for everybody else in any type of situation like this, uh, leadership that's not coupled with accountability, transparency, and definitely leadership that's not coupled with a commitment. It's just a setup for regret later on. So word to the wise. But those are just my thoughts.
Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. And again, if you have not gotten access to my free masterclass, The Secrets to Making an Evolved Man Crave You, I advise you to do so now before it comes down. Link is down in the caption or in the bio wherever you see it. I'll holler at y'all later. Y'all be good. Peace.